ओके रूट एप्स रूटिंग ऑलवेज साउंड ग्रेट प्रेजेंट इट सो हियर वी गो बट हैंग ऑन वी नॉट गॉन टॉक अबाउट द पॉपुलर वंस लाइक एड अवे टाइटेनियम बैकअप ग्रीनीफाई एस डी मेड एटसेट्रा यू नो हिट आई नो हिट Rather, we want to list down some lesser-known root apps which serve a specific purpose. So this is Pradeep from TechWiser.com, and let's just jump into this. Let's start with something simple. The Android community will definitely agree that emojis on iOS is better than Android. So instead of just shaking your head in dismay, download this app called Emoji Switcher. I mean, check this out. This is the boring usual Android emojis, and here we go with the Emoji Switcher. Well, you will have to reboot your phone, but it changes the emojis seamlessly on the keyboard. You get emojis not only from iOS 11, 12, but even Facebook and Android Nougat. Remember Blob Emoji? You can have that too. Next up we have Servicely which lets you decide what app can run in the background or when your phone is locked. For example, the most privacy friendly app Facebook which uses the GPS more than Uber. Well, if you don't like that, not sure why won't you. But anyways, you can use Servicely to make sure FB doesn't run in the background. Leaving out the sarcasm, Servicely really helps you to protect your privacy and save your battery life. Fortunately, this feature is an integral part of Android Q. Well, okay Google Thank you. Talking about Wi-Fi, here is an app called Wi-Fi WPS Pin. In case you don't know, WPS is a wireless protocol which lets devices like printer, repeater, pretty much any device without an interface to connect to the router without the need of a password. But wait, WPS is more dangerous than you can imagine. For example, most routers that have WPS have it turned on by default. With this rooted app, you can extract the six-digit WPS pin and connect to the router without the password. So the next time when your internet speed is jammed up and people are mooching on your Wi-Fi, just make sure you log into the router and turn off WPS. Now we have the simple things out of the way. Let's get serious. FK Kernel Manager lets you customize everything from CPU frequency to the screen colors to GPU frequency, everything. In simple words, it pushes your Android to its maximum performance. And here's the great part. Just like the gaming phones, you can put your rooted device in different modes: performance, battery saver, or conservative. But Does it actually work? So here's the difference in the benchmark. On the left, the pixel is in default, while on the right, we have it in performance mode. You can see an increase in the multi-core score, which will give a certain bump while gaming or even editing on the phone. And to just double check, here's N22 benchmark for you. You can share Wi-Fi on Windows and even the recent flagships or smartphone let you share Wi-Fi via hotspot but most of the phones still don't. Here's an app called NetShare although this app doesn't require root but I like this app so much it had to be on this list. Suppose you are in a hotel which restricts internet to only one device and you don't have mobile data as well like here this Realme 3 Pro is connected to Batcave which say allows me only one device to connect. So I just set up NetShare and create a Wi-Fi The only caveat though is you cannot change the SSID or password. So now I can use the internet on my Windows laptop. Well, seems the future for Android and Windows is great. But how does it work? Maybe the YouTube card can tell you. Android is based on Unix kernel. We all know that. But Termux is the app that utilizes the full potential of rooted Android phone. Let me show you the cool things it can do. I have set up FFmpeg on this rooted Android phone, and now I can do a bunch of transcoding with videos, like converting this video to an audio file, or 
even converting an audio file to a video with a picture why would you do that well just in case you want to upload audio to youtube and that's just the tip of the iceberg there is also youtube dl wget ftp and much more but that's just for another day oh file manager just like the previous one it's not a root only app but with root access a file manager is a whole new world the first thing it lets you access system files and with that you can change your game scores well that is petty don't do that and this is the best part you can edit host files of the apps and remove trackers or even block adult websites on your rooted phone now all of this can be done with third party apps but why install multiple apps when you have a file manager with root access and on that note let me know what niche root apps you use and i can give it a try and also there will be a poll somewhere over here if you have a rooted android phone let us know which company it belongs to and while you're at it like the video thanks for watching see you in the next one